Callaway FT Fusion against the modern Callaway Maverick. Let's compare these two um, giants. Yeah. Hello, Matthew. Hello. <laughs> so the Maverick is longer by about an inch in length. Okay. So potential for a bit more speed. Um, FT3, this is coming from your history of drivers, which we did another video on. Yeah. But did perform pretty good. Probably my, I think I said it. In yeah, you had video. two favourites, and my one favorite. was the Bertha, and you did have a lot of love for this club. Mm. So let's see how different these are, because I do think that Fusion FT3 was such a good driver. This is the tall model, by the way, as well. So the Maverick's bigger. Footprint. Yeah, it's a bigger head. Yeah. Um, but this is the tall model, remember. Um, I always quite liked the way the shaft kind of goes in back of the face on this club. It, it always reminds me a bit of a putter. It's like a, it, it's different down here. Mm. Um, and I always think it's quite interesting as well that Callaway haven't really changed their look dramatically. Like that is very similar to that. The black is very associable to, or associated to Callaway, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and often the cleanness. Yes, it, it. the only thing it doesn't have is the old chevron on the, yes. the tour version. The standard version did, did have it, yeah. And considering this club is so carbon, what's quite interesting is you wouldn't really know where the Maverick is like screaming, car it's saying, I'm carbon, I'm carbon, yeah, I'm, I'm light, carbon. I'm light. Which I think is more of a reaction to the world than it is that they really needed to do that. Yeah. Should we get some Maverick hits to kick us off? Go for it. That is not coming back. That's my shot at the moment. I need to work on this. Out of the bottom hit, but I'm that. I need that with a strike, and I'm there. Ooh. Again, that's a nice one. Yeah. Just tail higher launch. Just and flatter flight total. It felt like. Yeah. The Maverick looks good. Sounds, as we say in every review with it, it does just sound great. Yeah. Take it. Oh, is that a good one? Yeah, that felt pretty solid. And I think we've got enough there to get a good set with the odd delete if we need to. Yeah. Should we hit FT? Go for it. So FT3 tour, smaller, uh, not as long in the shaft. Interesting here, the comparison in sound between the two. It's louder, isn't it? Like, I don't think I've heard a driver sound like this ever. Like Maverick or like this? Like that. I yeah. think that's quite it's unique. unique to them. Yeah. Like that is the sound of those early carbon yeah. mix drivers that they did. It's like a ting, but he doesn't like, like keep the going. Hollow yeah, yeah. Sound, yeah. Isn't this? Yeah. It's unique, as you say. Which is quite interesting when you get to the modern driver. Obviously, it's something that they really want to keep pushing because the mm. modern driver's got the same unique kind of feel to it as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. So the first one was rubbish. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Lovely. When you can see the line when it lands, it's all good, isn't it? <laughs> is, that, is that what you work off? <laughs> I'm still on the runway. <laughs> I must have landed this plane. Is everyone all right about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, two brammers. Yeah, that's a pretty good hit for me. I love the sound. Yeah, I, I could gain this. It make me happy, this driver. I could gain this. Oh. <gasps> that's an arrow. Uh, that's three in a row. I do feel like the way this sits, like, with, like I say, with that shaft back face forward, it just is nice. Helping what, square the face just up more? Just visually helps me like the look of it, which yeah. then in turn might be helping me face control a fraction. Yeah. That's out of the bottom a little. Accuracy is a winner, but I feel like that's me hitting more shots. Mm -hmm. I do feel like Maverick's got more speed, but I think that's coming from if you reshafted this, either of the two short or made this longer, I feel like they would fall in line with each other pretty much. 
So we've got Maverick at the top, to uh, 152.9 ball speed versus 151.1 with the FT3. Yeah. So um, 1.8 slower. Yeah. Um, launching similar, 13.5 to 13.9. Spins tight as well, isn't it? It is tight, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got your carry at the end here, 265 with the Maverick and 258 with the Fusion FT3. Look at the dispersion of the Fusion top right. <laughs> Very accurate. <laughs> That's a tight circle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then carry is seven yards. Seven yards different, yeah. So where's that seven yards coming from? It's coming from almost two mile an hour ball speed. You are swinging two miles an hour quicker with the Maverick. Yeah. Efficiency's pretty tight. Strikes Lots. very different, and I think that's to do with head shape, do size. You? CGs and stuff. I think it's a smaller head on the tour, so I'm going to push it more towards naturally towards the middle to heel. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to find my high toe of it as much. No. Where with the bigger one, you definitely are. I'm not afraid to try and find the toe side and get my low spin eye launch shot. Um, the rest is all pretty similar, isn't it? Like, so, yeah, right, they're the tracks, same, apart yeah. from I'm swinging one faster than the other. So if you wanted to like go like for like, which lots of people like that, I know you see it in the comments, like for yeah. like. They are like for like. Yeah. I would now, if I wanted to... Get your two mile an hour head speed. I would you? find that in a fit. Yeah. That's where a shaft might make a difference. Mm -hmm. The different head, I might not have the tall, might be heavier. The tall head to the standard head, those mm -hmm. kind of things. Two miles an hour with driver is what, six yards? Potential, max really. With seven yards difference. Yeah, so they're basically the same, aren't they? It's... it's very good driver, isn't it? Well, it's, it's just, I don't think, again, I think we said it in another video, I think you could have stopped here. Mm -hmm. You know, whoever made so this driver, if, whoever, if they're my... still in the company, whoever made this driver, I bet you they're still like, compare it up to my one. Go yeah. on, go on, see? Just, you must smile walking out, yeah. out of the office every day. I wonder who it was, because Doc Hock, I don't think, Alan Hockman, I don't know when he joined Callaway, so I no. don't know what he, what was his first club. If anyone does know who designed no, this one, no. post down below, it'd be interesting. Might be watching. Hello, yeah. whoever yeah, you are. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but that's a good driver. Yeah. Like eBay FT free drivers. If you know you can get one and it's going to be fit to you and you want to spend not much money, because how much did we get this one from? Can you remember? I can't. It was less than 30 quid, I think. Yeah. For 30 quid, that's... Like, those shafts used to be 100 quid. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Like, they were popular, weren't yeah, they? Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah, MV. MVS, yeah, um, it was. Yeah. That, for 30 quid, is one of the best... Like, there you go. If I'm going to try and play golf for no money... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, you can keep your six yards, seven yards. Quick question. Go on then. I probably should know the answer to this, but yeah. Um, if, like, say that was my favourite ever driver and I never got rid of it. Yeah. And I was on tour. <laughs> yeah. You um, probably wouldn't have a sponsorship deal. <laughs> they would yeah. Pay, well, you would have to win majors for you to be allowed to keep that in, I reckon. But go on. What's your question? Like, because I'm hitting the middle so often and your CT's changing. Yeah. You are they going to test me? Yeah. They, they test everyone, do they? Yes. And nowadays, they're going for everything. Right. So even... I re well, don't quote me. I'm going to say yes as a semi-educated guess. Yeah. Because the, the, the test is that they don't want legal drivers on. So they mm. pull them out. They pull... Uh, as I understand it, they pull heads from trucks, but they also go in bags. Right. Because obviously that's the easiest way to cheat, isn't it? You go and yeah. get an illegal one off eBay and they don't test me because they yeah. didn't get it from the truck. It's so old, yeah, and everything. But if you were, you need to be stents and brand quality for you to not need that money to keep playing on tour and not have stress. Does that make any sense, what I'm saying there? Yeah. You need to be stents and quality where he just goes, no, mm. no. L nope, this and they're me. like, oh, we're desperately trying yeah. to get him in the new product. But, like, but... it's Freewood that... Oh, yeah, was how old was that? Like, do they... He has There's swapped another it. question for you. Do they don't CT a Freewood, do they? Uh, I don't know if they do now, but they do CT every club, obviously, mm. for Because he, he must have had that for years. Yeah, That I could agree. be as boing as anything, But if it's it? not built to tolerances like driver are, which I presume it isn't built as close to the tolerance, mm. I would guess. 
then it's got a lot of give in it, maybe. Sorry, Stenson, if you're bad. Yeah, you've just got his club back. <laughs> I've got one at home, exactly the same if you want it. <laughs> Do you want it on eBay? Two million quid. Yeah. <laughs>